quick view of what's happening here. So I have Solar Assistant running. And today, for the first time, uh, I felt like I've been monitoring, monitoring my loads long enough that it was time to test the air conditioner pump, the main three and a half ton for the house. And this is it kicking on right here. And uh, been humming along just fine, no issues. It is dipping into the battery a little. There's not enough solar, as you can see from the yellow. Uh, to cover that, you know, wattage expense, if you will. So batteries are paying the difference. Um, but it fired up fine. It's running fine. And now it's all going to be a matter of um, do I have enough storage to uh, handle the overall need? Uh, anyway, let's go take a look out at the inverter. So there are the batteries. That is two AUG cable. I did not use the dainty little cable that came with the batteries. Two AUG all the way up to the inverter. The inverter is humming away nicely, just as reported by the uh, Solar Assistant software. Now you can see there's no power coming in from the grid. Uh, I did turn off my breaker from the grid, so I am totally standalone. No ifs, ands, or buts. Things are working. Um, fingers crossed I have enough overall, like I said, energy here to fill the gaps. We'll see. One more quick note. This is my solar assistant wire. Doop -doo -doop -doo -doo. And I went ahead and ordered on Amazon the Orange Pi LTE, exactly the model that the solar assistant company said would work. They did specify only this model will work. Ordered that guy up, ordered the uh, software online, downloaded it. Very happy with it. I think it ended up costing after shipping and tax and all the miscellaneous. I think it was right around $120 total investment, but well worth it. Um, this is so much better than the software that comes with the equipment. 